Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Smartsheet. In this video, first I'm going to focus on pricing plans. Then I will go further on the features and walkthrough of the program like what you can find here. Also the disadvantages and advantages and on the last are going to be alternatives. Now guys, if you have your own opinion on Smartsheet and you tried it or you want to try it, let me down below in the comments your thoughts. Like, what do you think about it? If you find it useful, difficult, etc., I'll be really happy to read those, and also other people would be happy to read those too. They would come to this video. Now, let's start with the pricing plans, and then we are going to move on. So, pricing plans, as you can see, you have option to choose between monthly pricing and yearly price pricing. You can choose on one user, two user, three users, and the business can be used only from three users. So it would be uh, 84 euro a month. The pro version can be used uh, with yeah, one user or two users. Now when you would come here and you would come to complete featured list, this is also really important that in the pro version you're not going to have template sets, conditional form logic, activity log, baseline, a publish sheets, reports and dashboard. This is also really important. And then some integrations like Power Power BI is on business. So that's really important too. Calendar app. And that's pretty much it. So again, as you can see, it's a little bit expensive. For free users, you can use uh, the business. So that's can be a bummer too. Now, if it's the pricing from my perspective is kind of all right. The business can be a little bit expensive. Yes, that's true. Uh, but it can be worth it if you're going to learn how we can operate with Smartsheet. Now, if you have experience with Google Sheets or Excel, Smart Smartsheet is going to be easy for you. If you don't have experience with Excel and Google Sheets, maybe the Smartsheet is not going to be that good for you from the uh, like learning curve wise. Now, there is a one disadvantage and you would read a lot of reviews with this, that the customer support is not that great. It's not that fast responsive and uh, it's going to take them a long time to respond. Now, maybe in the future they are going to change that, but that's something important to know. Now, I know how it is about like uh, the upgrades they are doing on the tools uh, in Smartsheet, but uh, I heard also that they are not working that much on a Smartsheet com if you would compare it to Monday.com or click up, click up uh, like feature wise. But again, uh, that's just a rumor you need to analyze it and feel it by yourself. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is uh, the interface and that's combined with the walkthrough. Now, Smartsheet, as I mentioned, is like Google Excel or uh, Sheets. So when I come here, I can see the home, I can see the notifications, browse, and now comes the fun. This can get really overwhelming. Um, the user interface is not good great and from my perspective this is going to be really con a confuse, confusing for the beginners. So when I come here for the browse, you're going to find the work apps that you can find here, then sheets, workspaces and I have workspace YouTube channel. Under YouTube channel, I'm going to have a task summary report, overdue task report, project dashboard, task sheets. I can go top right and click and create a task list, a cards, templates, or I can import it, or I can even create a report or dashboard and portal. Now, when I'm going to click on the task kit sheets here, so you see that I have the YouTube marketing video, right? That's a task. And as you can see, these are two subtasks. I can simply, let's say, have YouTube business video. And again, I can simply click here and I'm going to indent it. In the moment I would do it, automatically it's going to be after under YouTube marketing video. So this took me a while to actually recognize and understand. So let's say I'm going to have a YouTube video on how to make money. And I'm going to add this as YouTube marketing or, or YouTube thumbnail for how to make money. And what I will do, I will click here. In the moment, 
I have this as a subtask. You can simply operate with the fields when you would have like assigned to, start date, end date health. Now, this is why Smartsheet is really effective is that it looks like Google Sheets. That's a, like a really good feature they have and I like it. Now when I click on the notes here, I can go to insert column right and I can easily add these columns as a drop down list, contact list, checkbox, symbol, auto number, created by, created date, latest comment modified by. Now Smartsheet can be really effective and it's a good for project management or even for reporting and you can make complex things here. But again, uh, it can be confused in the beginning. It got also a views here. So I can simply click here. It doesn't have so many views as a ClickUp or Monday.com. So you can simply choose here the grid view, the GAN view, the card view or calendar view. So you can easily cho choose those. And I can click like GAN view here. And Here it is. I can simply go on a card view and I have like not started in progress and complete, right? So that's how it works. I can go with a card view or calendar view and you can see the whole. Now it's really effective also working with database and how you can connect everything in Smartsheet. So if you're working in finance, for example, in the finance department, I would definitely go with the Smartsheet comparing to let's say Monday.com or ClickUp. So the feature wise, it's pretty effective, but as I mentioned, the customer service and also the, the user interface and user experience is not that great here. Now they are also missing the time tracking, which is the feature, which I think is really important. So you need to use like toggle, clockify, harvest and other time tracking applications. Now comparing to alternatives, what you can get. So alternatives is that, uh, you can use Rike, you can use ClickUp you can use monday.com. Those are really good alternatives to Smartsheet. So um, then you can also like use, like, I don't know, the, these are just in my mind. So th this is pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on Smartsheet and if you like it, if you like working with it. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you're going to have a great day and yeah, goodbye.